Now recently I have talked about a ton, and I mean a ton, of different violations, different jumpings, different violations, more jumpings. I mean, we've been talking about all types of stuff in anime recently. But one topic that I haven't been able to get out without YouTube being so harmful to my channel with a restriction is overpowered OHIS. I have tried everything to get this video out, but I've changed it and I've added new material to the video and transformed it to a whole new video. So hopefully, YouTube will stop hating, but I ain't gonna cap. If you want me to talk about any other old overpowered man in anime, you know what to do. You gotta get this video to at least 10,000 likes. Man, what I'm gonna do, let's talk about the overpowered OHIS in anime. We gotta talk about one of the craziest violations that I've ever seen by an old man. Now I ain't gonna hold you, I gotta talk about him being overpowered for holding it down in a 1v3, but also the jumping that took place here today was a violation. Man, we here to talk about heroes in versus Orochimaru. Now I ain't gonna lie y'all, he in, he don't be getting a lot of love. A lot of fans be hating on him because he did my man Naruto dirty a little bit. I mean, Minato last dying wish. Yo, Hiruzen, please take care of my son. Take care of your son? Nick, do I like a dad? Please, that's all I need you to do, Hiruzen. Man, all right, man, I'll take care of the little dude. Hey, Naruto, hey, look, man, I ain't got no time to take care of you for real, for real. But look, here's some money. I need you to get some Ichiraba ramen. That's all you can eat for dinner and shit. It's gonna give you high blood pressure one day. Also, I know you're gonna try to show out and deface the Leaf Village and all that shit. And I ain't got time for that either. And I know it's probably just a cry for help because you ain't got no parents. And your dad did tell me to take care of you. But man, I ain't got no time to raise no dumbass kid that look like Cole Sprouse Mom. Damn, he ruzin. How you gonna do my man Naruto like that? But I ain't gonna cap. My man Orochimaru pulled up on an old man Hiruzen and at his four glazing disciples. W glazed, by the way. I mean, everybody at Orochimaru controls and manipulates be glazing him. My only person that got away was Sasuke. And that's because that man's got such a goddamn ego, he can't glaze anyone but himself. But that's besides the point. Now they came in and they sealed up the whole area. Orochimaru knew he was about to violate heroes in this shit. Uh, heroes in. Hey, what the fuck? No, you zesty ass man. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Oh, seems you still have those dumbass liver spots on your face. Oh, I can't wait to knock that shit off. Man, shut your bitch ass up. And as soon as the fight started, my man Hiruzen started throwing goddamn roof tiles at this man. And then he turned the roof in the mud. Bro out here making mud slides and shit. Making dragon heads out of mud. Oh, shit, he's fire. Oh my God. Hey, yo, I thought Orochimaru was getting packed up early, y'all. I mean, look at this overpowered ass old head. Bro, think he the Avatar the last airbender, he earthbender and firebender. Remember when Naruto used to be about like ninjas and elements and stuff? And now it's about space aliens and overpowered races that can blow up moons and create universes and shit. I'm just saying, yo, it's kind of crazy where we started and where we at. Oh, Hiruzen. I told you I wasn't going to play with your old ass. Do you recognize these two? Hey, what the heck? Oh, are you gonna bring back my teachers? Hey, Ashirama, oh, tell me. Oh, I don't really fuck with Toby Ramen. They're racist as hell, but I mean, it is what it is. They're gonna be in the comments talking about, man, Toby Ramen not racist, yo. Toby Ramen, he, he a good person. I don't wanna hear that shit. Yo, what the hell? Hey, yo, who woke this up from the dead? I wrote, I wrote you tomorrow. Oh, you weird. I knew you was weird, man. I always used to tell them, man, this motherfucker, he gonna bring us back from the dead one day. Nah, that's facts, cuz you did say he was gonna bring us back one day, you feel me? Hey, y'all ain't no Uchiha's around here, is it? Cause you don't wanna fuck with them. them. Goddamn God nigga. Whoa, whoa, man, you gotta calm down, Toby Rock. What did I tell you about that racist shit? Man, stop that shit, man. Man, my fuck, huh? Man, so I gotta fight my teachers and shit. Like, man, we fight that, baby. Fight on you, so. Oh, this man out here using fire, bro. Oh, never mind, Toby Rock using water. Damn, man. Oh, he about to hit this man with the surf up wave. Oh, he going crazy right now. What the fuck? Yo, did he just vomit mud out, man? Yo, was your intestines okay, old okay? head? And don't worry about my test bit. Oh, my phone breaking the fourth wall. My bad, cut. And after this, they get the boxing. I mean, this man Toby Rama, Hashirama was kind of on my man, so Toby ass. I mean, he was running for a lot of the fight, but he was still doing his thing. Even when Hashirama was doing this deep water merge and all that. I think the thing that was so fire about this shit is that this man used the Reaper Death Seal. Now, I ain't gonna cap. This is the same thing Minato used to try to seal the QB's chakra into Naruto and all that. And that was dope. I'm not gonna hold you. 
But this man saw Toby did all of that and sacrificed himself just to seal off Orochimaru's arms. He didn't even take this man's life. Just sealed him so he couldn't do Jutsu anymore. I know he probably thought, well, you know, if he can't do Jutsu anymore, he won't be a menace to society. Man, he's got underlings in a whole underground organization. What the fuck? You thought he was just going to sit by and not do anything? You knew he was going to find a way out of this one day. I guess my man Hiruzen was just buying your time, yo. I'm not going to cat. But nonetheless, this old liver spot dried up poon face dude is overpowered. And he an anime swap. Rock with him. Yo, before you move on to the next segment, Sin, I'm just saying, you're looking kind of cute right now. <laughs> Oh, Paul! Oh, hey, put his SD count on Orochimaru. Yo, next up, we have to talk about the biggest pervert in all of anime history. Right next to Jiraiya, of course. My man, Master Roshi. Now, you're probably wondering, yo, Sin, how you gonna put Master Roshi on here and not put Jiraiya on here? I mean, my man Jiraiya held it down. He did his thing against the pains, but he still got jumped and he went out sad. Bro was writing notes on the back of that toe's back talking about... Yo, Naruto, if you get this note, yo, that dude is six, Nick. And I mean, I can't blame him, yo. He did get jumped, but he got dick kind of dirty a little bit. I'm just saying. And even though my man Master Roshi be getting them hands put on him here and there, you got to correlate it to the power scaling in Dragon Ball Z. Because the characters that he be fighting against be out of goddamn pocket sometimes. But we got to specifically talk about the time that my man Master Roshi fought in the world tournament against Tien. Now at the time, for my Dragon Ball OG fans, Tien was out of pocket. I mean, this fake-ass Cyclops was putting the hands, feet, knees, all types of shit on people. It's kind of crazy, but before Toriyama decided to have Tien and Yamcha be straight bums in Dragon Ball Z, it was actually some of the best foes that we had in OG Dragon Ball. My man Tien was out here in the green bean pants going crazy. But him and Master Roshi fight was so funny, yo. Ah, right, what's up, little Nick? Hold on, let me take this motherfucking jacket off. Because I'm about to put these old ass hands on you like this. Oh shit, cuz. What the hell? This nigga got six arms? Oh, this nigga turned into Goro or something. What the fuck? Hey, somebody get this stupid ass coat off of me. Hey, Boma, shut the fuck up, cuz. I'm about to beat the shit out of you, old ass dude. Bitch, bitch. What the fuck is this doing? Oh, you trying to copy my stuff? Boy, you too slow for that. Yeah, look. Take this. And this. Damn, boy, he kicked that in his face. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, he kicked the shit out of him, but he ate that, though. Damn, what you mean he ate it? Man, just look, he about to land right on his feet. Man, I'm on your ass, cuz. Bitch, 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 bitch. Oh, this is me and my goddamn chin and shit. Fake ass, I'm about to poke you in your third eye with your weird ass. Get your, get your hands on me. Yo, what the f doing, cartwheel? What the f Bitch, get your damn hands off me. Ugh, bitch, bitch, bitch. God damn. It's rocking my shit right now. Bitch. Damn, cuz. Rocking my shit. Bitch, 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 Yo, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Y'all saw my man Max Hoshi in there fighting with the best of them? Man, he was in there going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best adversaries that Dragon Ball had to offer at the time. Not only that, y'all remember when my man blew the moon up? Boy, that Uzaru was mad as hell. Damn, I only had one option. I gotta blow this moon up, cuz. Hey, hey, what you doing? Why, why you powering that shit up? Kame. Hey, man, put that shit up. Cut. Hey, hey, don't you shoot that moon, you old ass nigga. I swear to fucking God, don't you do it. Amen. Ah, Yo, this old ass. If you shoot that moon, I'm going to take your disability check away. Damn, I'm going to take my disability check, my fuck, huh? Ah! Damn, really blowing the moon up. That shit crazy. I wonder if the moon made out of cheese. Man, it's just like that. We got our first entry on the list. Hey, shout out to my man, Master Roshi. But next up, we got somebody on the list that I don't think none of y'all would have expected. Man, I be seeing fairy tale get all types of hate. But my man, Makara, man, he going crazy. Bro basically turns to a goddamn Megazord. Bro thought he was Godzilla or something. I'm not going to catch. Because him versus Hades, man, that's when I knew my bro was overpowered. Because God damn, that's a huge bridge. 
Yo, my man Makaron pulled up and he was tight. I mean, he was all types of mad at this man Hades, which was expected. I'm not going to cap, but he got super big on him. I'm not going to hold you. First off, pause on that. He got super big on him. Yo, that was crazy. But man, look at this dude. Damn. You can't tell me he not overpowered. Yo, I'm about to beat your ass. Man, shut the hell up. You ain't about to beat no old. Hey, hey, why you swinging at me like that? You're not doing anything but making me angry. I'm about to f you up, and then I'm gonna f your bitch. Damn! Are you ready for this? And what the hell you about to do with that? Look at that ball of light. Man, I got darkness over here, man. My shit looking like City Dad. I'm breaking the fourth wall. Oh, my fuck. Grimoire. Wait, what the hell? Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, this man had a clear me. Are you stupid, man? Yo, damn, Macaron. You get punished right now. It's the battle with the oldies. Yo, my man Hades was out here looking like a fake Odin. I'm not going cap. Look at the eye patch on him. He think he's slick, Rick. Damn! Oh, they even fight each other with sign language. Oh, oh special B cannon. Oh! But it was a little bit too much for my man Makarov, though. I'm not going to cap. My man Hades was out here with that darkness power. Bro had all types of magic. He shot everything he could. I mean, it was cool that he got overpowered and he got all huge and shit. Look like goddamn Broly or something. Incredible Hulk or something. Godzilla, a Megazord, all types of big shit. Bro was in a flash gun. The bro looked like a titan. I'm not going to cap. But he still got folded. I don't know what's more impressive. The fact that old man or old man violence existed in this moment or the fact that my man Makarov had a six pack and he's 70,000 years old. Bro, how you got abs and a social security check? Make it make sense. Man, that nigga overpowered. Next up on the list, we gotta jump into my Tagashi bag. Now, I was gonna talk about how cold Genkai was, but I ain't gonna lie. After Tagashi decided to have her die and then come back, that shit had me tight. I ain't even gonna talk about Genkai today. But who I am gonna talk about is another goat. Another old goat, that is. My man, Netero. Jesus Christ, this is one of the coldest, meanest, most flyest old I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Let me explain this, this whole backstory real quick. So this man, Netero, decided one day that he wanted to do 10,000 punches of gratitude a day. I know y'all are probably sitting there thinking, yo, send 10,000 punches? I can barely count past 20. Y'all niggas need to go back to school, y'all. I'm just saying. But yo, this man was really throwing 10,000 punches a day. Now, of course, it started off with him taking the entirety of the day to do it, and he was exhausted after. But bro, by the time he finished his training, this man could throw 10,000 punches in under an hour. Let me do the math real quick, because that shit got me fucked up. Let me bring this calculator up first and foremost, because you know your boy Sin ain't doing no math. 10,000 divided by 60 minutes. Oh, this man was throwing 166 punches per minute. All right. So we got 166 punches per minute. You know what I'm saying? That we got 60 seconds. Oh, this this man was throwing 2.7 punches a second. Oh yeah, nah, this man is out of your pocket. But what I really want to talk about is Netero versus Marion. Because even though my man Marion was kind of superior in every facet, my man Netero did his goddamn thing. And he ended up winning in the end anyway. I mean, he had to sacrifice himself, y'all. Bro turned himself to a nin nuke. But, but, but he got the job done. First and foremost, my man Netero came in fly as hell on the dragon. Now, I know that was the Zodix and all that, but nobody cares about that right now. We got to talk about how my man Netero was looking fly on that golden dragon. Him and Miriam just on that bitch hanging. And then both them dudes going to just drop into the battlefield like that. Oh, yeah. You knew this fight was going to be cold. Yo, yeah, what up, little? Ready to get these hands? Am I ready to get these hands? Do you know who you're talking to? Yeah, a fake ass cell, little. A fake cell. <laughs> you know I'ma beat the powdered milk off your old ass, right? Man, you gonna have to show me, bitch ass nigga. Yo, this right here, this is what I like to call the hundred type. Yeah, yeah, stupid ass name nobody can pronounce. You ready for this, bitch? I know I hate that nigga. He don't even try to move. You're way too slow. Oh, hold the fuck up. I know this. And I just sit down, pretzel style. About to slap the shit out of this nigga, guys. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. What the fuck is coming out of there? Oh, his nin is nasty. I told you, come with me 
yo, nigga, I'm just sitting here learning your attacks. Ain't nothing special about them. Now, at this point, the fight started getting mad hectic. I'm not gonna hold you. The way that this man, Netero, was trying and trying and trying, it was something of a valiant effort. And I gotta at least give him some respect for that. But, bro, for the first time, your old ass could not keep up with the new generation. Because this fake ass cell, well, I mean, that's what you called him, was putting them goddamn hands on you. Bro, you was throwing all types of 100 style punches at this man. I mean, Mario try to jump, swing. Mario try to weave, swing. Mario go to attack, swing. And even though you were doing all that, that still found time to cut your whole leg off. But bro, this man Netero was so cold, bro. He closed his own leg up. Oh, this nigga is out of pocket. Did this man just make a tourniquet out of his tight ass leg muscles? Bro flexing so hard, the blood not coming out of that shit. Yo, we gotta give respect where respect is due at. And this man Netero is a savage. Definitely in the top five in the show. I mean, I heard of some heavy hitters in the manga, y'all. But at least in the show, I know my man Netero. It's good to go. Yo, next up on the list, yo, we got to talk about Yamamoto from Bleach. Oh, my God. Ryushin Shaka. I ain't going to lie. That shit sound mad dope. I just wanted to say that shit. Yo, this man Yamamoto was out of pocket and one of the most OP characters in Bleach. This old ass has been collecting social security checks since way before anybody was born on Earth. This man is a, a soul reaper, a, a Shinigami, a, a, what is it called? Like a death reaper, death, so, whatever, man, this man old as shit. But I gotta talk about how he turned up on this man, Yawak. But first, I gotta talk about how he was this man, Aizen's biggest problem. Yo, this man, Aizen, knew that Yamamoto was such a problem. He created Wonder Ways to seal his Zanpak toe. He was like, oh, nah, this man cannot power up out here, son. The best thing you can do, old man, is sit down, eat some jello, and drink this prune juice. I do not need you with no Zanpak toe, I'm just saying. And he still folded Wonder Ways. That's how you know that to go. Wonder Ways was looking at him like, I'm in danger. But yo, I ain't gonna hold you. Yamamoto versus your wife. Sheesh. This was a fight for the ages. I'm just saying. Now, I'm not going to lie. My man was pissed off because his best friend got murdered. So, you know, he was out for blood. You know, I'm going to kill you, right, bitch ass? Son, I've been waiting all my life for this, son. I'm about to beat the brakes off your old ass, bitch. I'm about to knock the muff. That's the particles off your head. With your shiny ass head looking like my tail Williams and shit. Nigga, I ain't black. Couché, nigga. Yo, son, this getting kind of hot in here, son. Can you turn the air conditioner on? Ain't no air conditioner, bitch ass. God, come here, bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, they going at it right now. Yo, look at this choreography, y'all. These is having a real sword fight on some Zoro shit. Damn, this nigga got a cutlass? Hey, yo, that sword big as hell. Y'all notice that this man, you walk at the mustache of dudes that do not like black people? I'm just saying. I was going to bring up a religion and how I feel like these men are neo-Nazis, but I don't want to step on no eggs. Shells, I'm just saying. But correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. Are they inspired to be people from like Germany in that whole Nazi era? Because they be moving militant like that. Bro, this man Yamamoto was so overpowered. He's got four different Bankai's at one. Each direction does something different. One is just super hot. This man's sword turns into something that touches stuff and it disintegrates. Another brings back all the dead that he has killed before and they fight as an army. Oh, this nigga Alucard or something. I'm just saying. One of them turns this nigga into a damn furnace. I mean, this man was out here looking like Infernape and shit. All I'm saying is like, Kainu don't got shit on my man Yamamoto because he too goddamn hot, son. Hey, yo, Editor Q. Everything litty, I love when it's hot. Turn to the city, I broke out the night. Got some more millions, I keep me a knot. But they did my man Yamamoto so dirty in this arc, bro. Cause the whole time he was fighting this dude, he found out at the end it wasn't even the real Yawa. He was fighting for no reason. Used up his Bankai and all his energy just to get folded by the real one. Why did y'all do my nigga like that? Y'all could at least did it like Jiraiya. Had him go out with some pride, some dignity. Had this man getting smoked by a fake version. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna cap. We gotta talk about my man, Vera Bradley. Cause that dude is out of pocket. Yo, Bradley's so OP. I might have to do a video on him 
purely by himself. I'm not going to hold you. Bro out here dual wielding swords with a whole six pack muscled up. And he close to 60. Man, stop playing with him. Who you know close to 60 doing this? Everybody, I know close to 60. They got high blood pressure, cholesterol fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They out here hurting right now. This man out here with a slick brick eye patch, muscles. And this man got the mustache of somebody in history that we do not fuck with. I'm not going to care. But hey, that's besides the point. I mean, you can't tell me my man Bradley not out here with the racist mustache. But it don't even matter. But when I tell you he violated Green, he had him in his hallway fighting for his guy. Damn life. I'm not going to lie. Hey, who was that? Shit, I don't know who it is. Wait, is that? Is that yeah, Vera Bradley? Bradley? Hey, Bradley, what the hell are you doing out here, man? <laughs> what's, what's up, up Yannis? How y'all feeling? Hey, I see you, man. Hey, Alphonse, what's good with you, man? You in that suit and all that. I see you. You shining right now. Hey, where, uh, hey, where Edward at? Hey, don't worry about where Edward at, man. It's not your business. It's not my business. You know you done fucked up, right? Hey, what the hell? Why your voice changed? <laughs> bitch. Oh, no. Nah. All right, what's up then? We? When I push this, I pass some... Oh, shit. This ain't a cut my neck. Man, you can't kill me, man, with them dumbass swords, man. What you think this is? I think I can't kill you. Some scum like you. Your name is Greed. Uh, what's greedy about you? The way that you're swallowing these swords. Hey, yo, first off, pause on that, old man. I can't believe you talking to me like... Hold on, what the hell? Oh, what's that in your eye? Oh, you had an eye patch on because he was hiding that shit. Uh, man, this nigga me up right now. Oh my God, I'm bleeding out. Oh, this nigga just like me for real. Hey, Alvaro's ass work. This nigga me in this And just like that, my man Gree got packed up. I mean, he had a whole sword in his damn mouth. Damn, can't believe he got punished like that. Yo, this man Bradley ain't shit, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. But he overpowered as hell. But you know what else overpowered? My community. So I know y'all gonna get this to 10,000 likes. Because I know y'all want that part two, y'all.